Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run. Should I get an MRI or a CT scan for running injury? Well, if you don't really know if it's a bone issue, cartilage issue, or some other soft tissue issue like a tendon or ligament and nothing shows up on x-rays, you may start thinking about getting an MRI or CT scan. So which one is really best? It all depends on your circumstances and your preferences. Whether or not an MRI or CT scan will be better for you depends on your story. When any doctor asks you all these questions about how you responded to treatment, it really helps us determine what kind of tissue has been injured. For example, if you have, a, a, let's say, just a really mild stress fracture or a stress response in one of your metatarsal bones, that typically calms down pretty quickly once you just reduce your activity. The amount of discomfort and pain you have when you apply impact, such as jumping rope or running or doing box jumps, that also helps us determine whether or not it's a bone or soft tissue injury. And even the positioning of your foot and the relief you get when you hold your foot in a different position when you stand or walk, that can also tell us a lot about whether or not an MRI or CT scan will be helpful to you. Whether or not an MRI or a CT scan will be better for you depends on your exam too. I mean, does it really seem more likely to be a tendon or a ligament? Does it hurt when you push it, stretch it, etc.? But if all things are equal and you could actually get the information you need with either of the two studies, then the choice of which one's best for you boils down to your personal preferences. If you're extremely claustrophobic and you won't be able to sit still inside a tube for half an hour, you're probably better off getting a CT scan instead of an MRI. But if you're extremely paranoid about radiation, if you worry about the amount of radiation you get on a transcontinental flight, if you would never in a million years um, live near a cell phone tower or high tension power lines, if you refuse to eat fish caught in the Pacific Ocean near Southeast Asia for fear of radiation still poisoning fish from the Fukushima nuclear power plant disaster, you probably don't want to get exposed to the radiation from a CT scan. In that case, you'd probably opt for an MRI. What you really need to understand is that there are differences between the exams and if you can keep really close track of your symptoms and the improvement or lack thereof from all of the treatments you've tried from that the time that the injury occurred until the time you meet with your doctor to consider an MRI or CT scan, you'll have a much better chance just getting the right study for you. Make sure you keep track of your pain, log it, record it, track it, share it with your doctor, and you and your doctor will then both be better equipped to decide whether or not an MRI or a CT scan will be most helpful in making the diagnosis that puts you on the path to healing and getting back to running. Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run.